Nearly 100 citizens and community leaders gathered at the Civic Center to get the first peek at three renderings of what our city's new arena could look like. The design team at Perkins and Will presented the potential plans for the inside and out. This is the, the citizens' um, arena. It's paid for by primarily by SPLOS dollars. Having their input is just very, very important. Savannah is a unique place, and, and the site is in a unique place in the Canal District. Having the canal, the Springfield Canal, immediately adjacent to the arena is a, a wonderful amenity that we want to take advantage of. And it's an opportunity for us in Savannah to recognize our canals as something other than just a drainage infrastructure. All three designs recognizing the importance of the canal itself and that being a part of the look and the feel of the arena. The uniqueness of this arena is that you come to an elevated concourse level and that's where the majority of the activity happens. And in this scheme, we really begin to think about how could we play that up, not only from the inside, but the outside as well. The first one that you obviously see, the main entry that is this very um, streamlined glass entry that you see into the building. And then really beginning to group that concourse area and party deck area into one singular expression towards the, the canal side that's also looking out to the city. A very exciting, inviting scheme you see the trellis that's sort of providing shade, becoming an iconic element. And in this particular scheme, it's sort of the most transparent and has the most um, glass within it, seeing into the arena. And so we want the public to look at those three uh, schemes, tell us what they like about them, what they don't like about them. And so it may wind up being, you know, certain aspects of of all three designs rolled into the one. As for the inside of the arena, it is definitely multi-use, from small stage to monster trucks and everything in between. People really want a different experience when they go to the arena now, they want a social experience. And so we've developed a whole top level that we're calling the party deck that has views out to the canal and views to downtown. It will make those seats really fun and a great option. Making this a flexible facility that can host a variety of events um, is very important and then having um, you know, a whole lot of different uh, experiences depending on your, you know, what kind of seating you, you go for. So um, there's going to be something in this building for virtually everybody. And most importantly, you know, from an architectural perspective, that we create something that's timeless. Uh, that we don't look back at it five or ten years from now and say, I know which decade that arena was built in. Um, that we have something that we're proud of that uh, sort of harkens back to durable classic materials and proportions. As for the current arena, or Civic Center, council heard from the Urban Land Institute. Recommendation was to tear down the full facility. The majority uh, of, of the opinions that we heard were that the, uh, the, that the Mercer Theater has some, some significant challenges, which include the, um, the, the size, the, um, the, the ability to fill it uh, with events, um, it, both quantity and both capacity, and then also um, the the excessive or extensive costs that we're going to be that are going to be required to bring it up, or at least to to an operational level. Um, but we're not really uh, our our panel is not confident that that would bring it up to a state of the art facility. Following this preliminary presentation, the Urban Land Institute will present an official report to council in the coming months.